What is going on my 1.44 thousand freaky friends? This is your friend King Julian and before I get to the topic of today's highly informative video, let me quickly deliver one very very important message. A massive thank you to everyone who supported the channel through Rosie's fundraiser. We've managed to raise 600 euros so far, which is incredibly generous of you guys. It's way beyond my wildest dreams and it allows me to buy some solid gear now, which is absolutely crucial for my return to the practical part of this channel. Thank you to my brother Alex who organized all of this, Mikey, the M&Ms, you know who you are guys, love you. Some of you that I've never met in person actually, James Shepard, sir you are so incredibly generous and kind and crazy, Wyatt Jones, thank you so much mate, and all of my anonymous heroes, words can't describe how grateful I am for you, thank you. And now to the point of today's video, I would like to announce the beginning of a more informative substream to the channel where all of us could share knowledge and together we could contribute to each other's personal growth. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let me introduce the King Julian Academy and my first entry to it, your ultimate guide to the motorcycle gloves. Hands are humans' most valuable and most delicate tools. They create and build, they help us discover and assess things, express feelings, they can literally talk or grab that perfect booty. Hands are a blessing from above and we should protect them at all costs when riding a motorcycle. There are various types of gloves suitable for various types of riders, though there's two options that we should rule out right away. Fingerless gloves and no gloves. While we need to respect everybody's freedom of choice, let us please agree to always wear proper gear within our community, okay? Have you ever fallen off a bicycle or while running? Didn't you wish you had a pair of gloves on when your hands instinctively reached for the floor to protect the rest of your body from a nasty impact? Now imagine the same fall at the usual city speed of more or less 50 kmh. And now imagine who actually rides at 50 km per hour in the city. No one. Or maybe the scooters, so let's add 20 to that. After a fall at this speed without the proper gear, you probably wouldn't be able to scratch your ass or pick your nose for months, if ever again. Therefore please make sure your hands are protected at all costs. Before we get to the most common types of motorcycle gloves, let us take a look at the materials used and their characteristics. Leather. Motorcycle gloves are usually made of cow and goat hide. Cowhide is tough and is usually used on the back of the hand, where tactile feel is less important. Goat skin is less crash resistant than cowhide, but gives greater levels of feel for the controls, so it is generally used for the palms of the glove. In more premium gloves, the palm is made from kangaroo leather. It provides excellent dexterity and lets you feel the bike's controls while having the same level of protection as goat skin. This leather is mainly used in the race gloves. Leather has its undeniable benefits and there's a very good reason why this is the most common material. Besides best abrasion resistance, it is the most durable, long-lasting material and it molds to hand very well, which also means it requires a certain breaking period. Unlike textile, leather can usually be recovered and reused after a crash. On the other hand, it doesn't prevent you so well from the cold, plus the leather gloves usually aren't waterproof. Last but not least, leather will always be among the more costly options. Textile. Due to its very low abrasion resistance and durability, textile gloves usually use a lot of other materials in the construction to boost them up, depending on the requirements for the concrete glove. You know right away whether textile gloves will be comfortable or not. The material doesn't require any breaking in. They can also make good lightweight summer gloves, but it is harder to achieve good abrasion resistance with a thin lightweight textile glove. Hybrid or leather textile option offers solid abrasion resistance in combination with good weather protection. There are countless options to choose from. You can get mesh at the back of the hands for hot weather riding, or you can get more complex liner systems in there to help combat the cold. You can also add waterproof options. 
The downside is the level of protection, which is usually lower than with the full leather gloves and also lower durability. Hybrid gloves can offer a solid protection in an event of a crash, but they likely won't survive it. As I suggested above, other than the two main materials, additional things like Kevlar, hard plastics or carbon fiber are added in specific places to increase protection. Sensitive areas like knuckles, palms and fingers can be protected with the addition of these materials. Gore-Tex, for example, is perfect for waterproofing gloves while increasing comfort. The material is both waterproof and breathable, so it is ideal for wet conditions, preventing water from getting in and letting air out, so your hands can stay comfortable and dry. And that would be it for the short introduction to the materials. Besides protection and comfort, a good pair of gloves should also increase your riding confidence and underline your riding style. So how do you make sure to pick out the right pair? There are following motorcycle glove types that you can choose from. Dirt gloves, short cuff aka street gloves, gauntlet aka touring gloves and race gloves. Dirt gloves are best for motocross or off-road riding disciplines. Protection usually doesn't play the main role with this type, since you would mainly ride on a well-groomed track. Instead, you would need to focus on the best possible grip. When riding dirt, your hands will have a lot of work keeping you in contact with the bike while operating the throttle and levers. Other than that, the gloves should be able to effectively fend off the worst of the bad weather and inspire you to push even harder and faster. Hence, the most important factors to keep in mind for this type of riding and this type of gloves are grip, ventilation and protection, exactly in this order. These gloves are almost always made with textiles and mesh. If impact protection is needed, traditional TPR or EVA materials should do the job fairly well. Short cuff, also known as street gloves. As the name suggests, this type is most suitable for city riding and commuting. The short cuffs allow for easy manipulation and also offer a good level of comfort. There are many types of short cuff gloves that you can choose from depending on your riding style and also on when you are riding. They can be very practical in summer when you actually appreciate a bit of air flowing up your sleeves, but it doesn't mean they are only suitable for summer riding. In fact, there are three types of short cuff gloves to choose from summer, winter and dual sport short cuff gloves. The summer type often uses a combination of mesh and leather to provide a combination of abrasion resistance and airflow. The winter type usually uses textile in combination with a thermal or waterproof layer, or both. Textile and synthetic materials generally provide way more efficient protection from cold and elements than leather and often come with a Gore-Tex feature. Dual sport short cuff gloves usually combine both street and off-road features to provide the most versatile option for those riders who like to spend their time riding in the city streets as well as in the dirt. These gloves usually combine textile and leather. Now let us move to the next one, the gauntlet gloves. This type of motorcycle gloves uses more protection than the street type, mainly because it uses more material to cover the wrists, but its focus also lies on high comfort for the rider. As a result, it is quite a versatile glove, which you can comfortably use for touring, but it's also safe and reliable on occasional track days. Gauntlet gloves come in many variations, use different base materials and have a pretty wide use, maybe except for dirt riding. Generally speaking, there are two main types of gauntlet gloves. Winter gauntlet gloves, which usually use the same materials as the street winter type, Plus they provide maximum weather protection, since unlike short cuff gloves, they are worn above the jacket sleeve. Touring or adventure gauntlet gloves, which are very much oriented on comfort and apart from textile they can also use leather or mesh or eventually combinations of all of those materials. The last glove type I'm about to cover in this video are the race gloves. Race gloves are always full gauntlets, as required by all track day providers, and their main focus lies with protection for high-speed crashes. They usually have thin palms for good throttle control and lots of ventilation when you are pushing your hardest. A full leather race glove will usually be made from combination of cow and goat hide or kangaroo skin. Race gloves will also have extra reinforcement and protection. 
expect to find an extra layer of leather around the heel of the palm and the outer side of the hand. Hard plastic sliders are also usually incorporated into the palm areas to help alleviate the most common wrist injuries. Most race gloves use plastic or carbon backed by a thin layer of foam for comfort to provide impact protection for your knuckles. And that was it for the theory, hope you're not sleeping yet. Now let's take me as a practical example and see what type of gloves I should use. In order to answer that, there are certain questions I need to ask myself first. One, what kind of riding do I do the most? My main domain definitely used to be street riding and occasional touring. I would commute to work every day and spend most of my time in the city. When the weather allowed it, I would usually leave the city on weekends for a half day or even a full day trip. Even though I sometimes ended up doing off-road, wink wink, I definitely was no dirt rider. And even though I sometimes ended up having fun in the twisties, I definitely was no racer. Based on the above mentioned characteristics, I should rule out the dirt gloves and the premium race gloves, so I'm left with the street or gauntlet type. Question number two. How often and for how long do I prefer to ride? I used to ride very often. Every day if possible, every minute I was not sleeping, eating or working. I loved the weekend trips. Yes, my girlfriend was a lucky girl. I still can't decide between the street or gauntlet type. The street riding would still consume the vast majority of my time in the saddle, but with that much time I would require increased comfort too. So let's go to the next one. Question number three. Do I only ride under certain weather conditions? Well, I usually avoided riding when the outside temperature was below 10 Celsius degrees. I would never ride on icy roads when it was snowing, heavy raining or on foggy winter days. Other than that, light rain or dry cold wouldn't be a showstopper. During winter months, I would usually do only short rides, below 30 minutes to move from A to B. Now we're getting a little clearer picture. I would generally not avoid the cold, so I should probably make sure my gear is sealed. Gauntlet gloves with extra bit of material around the wrists would take care of that. But what material to pick? Despite not avoiding light rain, I would still not consider myself a proper adventure rider. In winter months, I would only take short trips. Hence, leather or hybrid touring gloves should be perfectly capable of satisfying my use cases. Question number four. What's my riding style? Well. Mostly not too aggressive CD riding, cruising and being mindful of others. But when the situation allowed it, like on the racetrack at the Moto School, I would like to test my limits a little bit and ride more aggressively. My gut feeling is telling me that I should pick my new pair of gloves based on the most extreme situation I would find myself in, which would be an occasional track day. Full leather gauntlet touring glove would provide the comfort I need for touring but also high level of protection when I'm pushing my limits on the track. So this is the type of gloves I would go for if I needed to pick one. In reality, I used to own two pairs of gloves before. Summer short cuff gloves for city riding on warm summer days, which used a combination of mesh, textile, leather on the palm and hard plastic protection elements. And a second pair of full leather touring gloves with combination of carbon and hard plastic protectors which would keep my hand safe for the rest of my adventures. Now this leads me to the final question. What is my budget? Can I afford two pairs again? Well it's a tricky one, but thanks to you I can make a pretty solid investment. For now I'd settle for one pair only, the full leather gauntlet gloves as per the result of my personal assessment. 100 euros would be my maximum budget for a new pair of gloves. Hopefully it should buy me a pretty solid model for what I need. So let's search then. And this is where I would like to ask you guys to step in and help me pick the right pair of gloves. Do you agree with my selection criteria? Please leave a comment down below and feel free to suggest those brands and models that you'd recommend, either based on your own personal experience or maybe there's a model that you'd like to buy next. Based on your feedback, I would like to organize a poll, probably on Instagram this time, so please make sure to add King Julian Motto to your contacts if you want to actively discuss this as well as other topics in the future. Yes, if you're interested, then I would prepare a similar video for every kind of motorcycle gear, 
we would evaluate the best gear together through the comments, Instagram or whatever platform we decide to use after all and in a follow up to our joint evaluation I would make a summary video about the most popular choice and the gear I personally went for. This is all for today's video guys, it was an absolute pleasure as always, thank you for watching, take good care of yourselves, your loved ones and I'll talk to you in the next one. Cheers, bye bye.